Hey all, here are OS Reviews. In this video, we're taking a quick look at a rather unusual smartwatch, this one called the M-Term Smart, and it's also advertised as a quote-unquote anti-nausea wristband because there is a TENS unit built inside. This is a type of electrical nerve stimulation to relieve different sensations such as pain in the body, and they claim that the signals are targeting the median nerve on the wrist that will then travel inside of the central nervous system and cause the stomach to kind of feel less nauseous. And that is the point of this one if you are suffering from something like uneasiness. So if you happen to be a frequent traveler and you get nauseous because of the bumpiness in a car, uh, if you're on even a boat, a plane, this company by the way is based in Canada. They claim that this is going to be safe, it's FDA approved. And that's not too surprising because TENS units have been around for a number of years now. But it's kind of my first time seeing one in the form of a smartwatch. So it's kind of an emerging category, I would say, of more specialized wearables, just like the BP Doctor Pro series served as another example. This one doesn't really fight against nausea, but instead there is an inflatable cuff, a small pump inside that can accurately take your blood pressure. So for folks that want really accurate, again, blood pressure measurement, that's going to be the specialty here uh, versus anti-nausea TENS unit on this model. So it's all about giving you kind of these specialized purposes and functions that a regular smartwatch that we see typically doesn't have. Another example would be the Apollo Nero is another wearable that uses haptics to also try to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system and try and calm you down, which is designed more for relaxation, meditation, and falling asleep a little bit faster. But you get the idea, all of these more unconventional wearable gadgets. The company claims that it's also going to be water resistant, so for things like light splashes, if you accidentally get it wet in the rain, it should still survive, although submerging it when you're diving isn't going to be recommended. Now when it comes to battery life because of the electrical kind of TENS unit that is literally going to drain more power. Uh, this thing is rated to last around two days of use before you have to recharge it again. So actually quite comparable to an Android Wear or Apple Watch in that regard. You're not getting the longest battery, uh, but it takes around just an hour and a half to fully top up again, and it's very lightweight. Uh, it can also be an interesting option if you're feeling drowsy as well, since you're getting essentially a small zap on your wrist. The company also sells other form factors of these anti-nausea wristbands. That's really their whole specialty. So they've made multiple generations now. This is their first dedicated smartwatch, but they have bands in the past uh, that simply have this function, but no display on the front. And they also have another version, which is in a cuff style, that can be snapped into a Apple Watch. So you just have the TENS unit on the back, uh, but you still have a regular smartwatch on the front. So that actually might be an interesting option if you want more advanced functionality and you're comfortable with your existing wearable. You just want to add this one function to the strap. But obviously that's missing a built-in display, and this is more of an all-in-one dedicated unit here. So in the packaging, aside from the smartwatch itself, we have just a quick start guide, and it's going to be using a magnetic pogo-style charger uh, to quickly top it off using the contacts here on the back. Pretty standard stuff. A closer look at the design of the smartwatch. Again, there are motion sensors that detect when you are flicking your wrist around to automatically wake the screen. Alternatively, there's just one crown key on the side that you can tap on to wake the screen as well, and it is touch sensitive, so you're able to navigate around uh, to take a look at the number of steps you've walked. So those are the core functions. What you won't find on this particular model would be uh, a SBO2 blood oxygen monitor, and perhaps the biggest emission which I really do want to see in another revision would be built-in Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connectivity because interestingly enough this thing actually doesn't connect to a companion app on your phone so all the data that it's tracking is actually just shown on the display itself I guess for those that are really security conscious that might be acceptable I've seen some folks complain when you install an app you may have to sign up give up some of your personal data to create an account well this doesn't require any of that. However, the flip side is it might be just a little bit too simple because you don't really have an archive of past records that you can look at for trends, for example, unless you're recording them yourself. But that's kind of a manual effort. So it just saves the data for the past 24 hours, essentially. The watch strap here is also crafted out of silicone. It's pretty comfortable and, again, surprisingly lightweight and slim. Not necessarily thicker or bulkier than a conventional smartwatch. 
So it's suitable for both men and women, even for folks that have smaller wrists, I would say. That being said, the watch strap here is not user replaceable or customizable. That's because it's integrated with the TENS sensor, as you can tell. Similar to on the first generation of the BP Doctor blood pressure watch, had the same thing. It's built into the cuff, so you can't really swap it out as easily. Otherwise, we have just some plastic here for the heart rate sensor, as well as, again, the charging contacts, and that is it. The sides of the watch are built out of a polycarbonate plastic, but it feels pretty solid. The screen's brightness, I would say, is also adequate. It's an IPS LCD panel, but contrast actually looks quite decent, and sensitivity as well as readability in most conditions seem to be acceptable. You're able to gauge the battery percentage, the number of steps you've walked here, uh, as well as, again, then loop into some of the additional settings, such as whether you want to change the goal of number of steps you want to reach per day, and interestingly, the watch does have haptic vibration motors still, so it will buzz to give you confirmation if you've reached your goal, for instance. So the next one here, which is this blue logo, is going to be the TENS activation, and now the electrodes will start to kind of initialize, and you'll be able to feel a slight sensation on your wrist. It is effective, again, similar to other dedicated TENS units that you'll find on the market. It's not painful nor does it make your skin numb or anything like that. It's actually a very, almost like a, a gentle tap on your wrist more than anything, but it's still noticeable enough that it does, in my experience at least, seem to inhibit some of the feelings of nausea and also change the intensity of the TENS unit, using the slider here to crank it up to a maximum level versus a minimum, depending on uh, kind of your tolerance levels. It does seem to work as advertised there. But again, there are no real data points, I guess, or biometrics that are getting collected while that is in progress. So again, would really love to see a more pro version of a smartwatch from then in the future that has that smart Bluetooth connectivity, and perhaps they'll be able to do something like track your heart rate continuously while you're getting one of these treatments to also monitor how your body responds in a way. So that would be kind of neat to consider. But there it is. It does at least, again, draw your attention to a different part of your body if we jump into settings, you can also change the screen brightness and making it just a little bit brighter there, as well as toggle into time and date settings, because again, there is no Bluetooth connectivity. You have to kind of manually set this up for the first time instead of having the auto sync capability. And then under system, you can reboot uh, the unit if desired, as well as turn off the watch if needed, and also take a quick look at the firmware information. But that's also another point where it's kind of hard to have software updates because it doesn't really bind directly to your phone, for example. So you're kind of stuck with the version uh, that comes by default with the watch. Even though it is very easy to operate, what you see here is basically where you're getting at the end of the day. So that is more or less it as far as a quick hands-on overview of the M-Term Smart. This is, again, their first hybrid smartwatch of sorts that combines the anti-nausea TENS technology that they're known for coming in other form factors that they've made in the past, which are more simple. Uh, the first model, at least, with a screen. And I do like the concept of something like this because I think specialized wearables do have their place on the market. It's better than kind of a one-size-fit-all approach for everyone out there. Again, these types of wearables are definitely not advertised or aimed, I would say, at the everyday consumer. They're going after a specific target audience uh, of folks that want specific features that are currently missing in a regular smartwatch, whether it's going to be for meditation and sleep tracking purposes, uh, in this case for feeling better if for motion sickness, or again for blood pressure as the most important metric on a small wearable. Um, that being said, it's not quite well-rounded in some of the other areas, and I think the biggest missing piece uh, in this first generation attempt from them would be that Bluetooth connectivity with some type of companion app could really take it to the next level. But at the very least, this is comfortable to wear, and surprisingly, the TENS part, which I guess is the most important aspect, uh, does work, at least in the sense that they are advertising. So you can check out more details if interested in the links down below. Again, a very strange, quirky wearable uh, that has been the M-Term Smart Anti-Nausea Smartwatch.